Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, you should just have to enable like solutions or something. That's like, not. It says so. I'm sad. It's terrible. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sad. <laughs> Sounds. I not- can't work like this. Welcome back to another episode of The Shred. Yay! Woo! I'm your host, Lisa Shaymont. I'm Amber Hart. And we are the Pulse of GovCon. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, ICF. Today's episode is how to be more tech forward in your organization. Push the technology forward. And you might be wondering, hmm, Amber, what is being tech forward? I have no idea. And so I'm gonna answer it instead of you, which is really (laughs) leveraging technology in your organization to increase your market presence and create synergies and establish better efficiencies within your organization using technology. How many buzzwords can you fit in one sentence? (laughs) Don't even try me. Moreover, it's about the partnerships that your firm builds with technology firms, vendors, and other types of tool sets. And we're not just talking about IT vendors in the federal space. We're talking about anyone that provides uh, solutions or service providers in the space enable using technology to enable their solutions. So during our episode today, we are gonna be talking about being tech forward, but also in terms of the partnerships that you can leverage as a government contractor to enable that you are putting technology at the forefront. We have three partnerships that we are gonna be running through today's episode. The first technology partnership that you can leverage to be more tech forward is by using incubators and accelerators, which, as Amber Hart is going to say, are different. They They are different. They have different purposes, but their goal is more or less the same. But Amber, what makes them different? An incubator is a longer process that provides things like physical space, more mentorship opportunities, and is a longer time for you to come and incubate inside of them, like a little egg. A little eggy. An accelerator is exactly what it sounds like. It accelerates your process. It's for a little bit more of an established small business or startup that's looking to look at funding, how to fundraise, where it's a little bit shorter time period of of an investment. So we know that incubators and accelerators have different sort of vibes going for them. Some are vibes. more fast, some are slower, more long-term engagement. Some are more Silicon Valley. You know, some are a little bit more Wall Street. There's some different ones, but in the DC metro area, there's definitely ones that get tossed around the government contracting industry, and they're the big names. Things like TechNexus, uh, we have Idea Labs, the- What uh, is the longest running incubator in the That's amazing. Space. The Harvard Innovation Center is another one and the Capital Factory. So these might be the names that you come across when looking at incubators in the government contracting industry. Amber, what is a list of accelerators that people can look up and into? Well, when you want to accelerate your business, there's a few around the area that that you can look into. It's Decode, AWS Build, and Microsoft Accelerator that has supported over 1,000 companies across 14 countries. That's amazing, yeah. So we know about these programs, they're with big names, and they can really assist your corporation in being more tech forward. Accelerate you. Accelerate. The second type of tech partnership that you might enact for your organization to be more tech forward is to partner with regional tech and innovation hubs. Now, this is a fairly new program, Mm -hmm. right? So I believe it came out of the Chips and Science Act in 2022. And they named, what, 31 tech hubs? 31 different tech hubs, as well as gave 29 grant recipients throughout the country to kind of help bolster those hubs. Now, these hubs are throughout the United States and really do serve as support systems across every industry, every kind of science, math, aerospace, you name it. And they're not just incubators or accelerators. They're all different types of programs and labs and initiatives throughout the country that the federal government is really interested in bolstering. Yeah, and this is federally funded. Absolutely. Yeah. Some federal technology incubators that exist are things like the startup studios. Absolutely. So FedTech has teamed up with agencies such as HHS, Department of Energy, NASA to create these startup studios that are taking in kind of cohort members. I believe the 2024 uh, cohorts have closed all those applications, but bringing them to the startup studio to really help with things like technology transfers and utilizing patents that the federal government already has or owns and helping grow that technology and build on top of it. Yeah. Then there's also the Works Universe, W-E-R-X, make it works. But with more federal funding, like Marvel. Yes, it is exactly like that. And more suits. So many, but these works, I mean, you have the class 
classic ones like Afworks, you'll have Spaceworks, you have Naval Works, you have some of the new ones. You have the new ones like ARC Works, and you have DISA Works mm -hmm. that just popped up. And you also have Space Works, which did you already know? I did say Space Damn Works, it. but we can say it twice. So nice we Said used it, it twice. twice. There's also a lot of online communities that are really interesting and able to enable you to be more tech forward. Things like Tradewinds, which has a lot of great video training and resources and information for you to accelerate your business. Absolutely, and you have things like the Jake. Uh -huh. And then mm -hmm. on the federal civilian side, you have the DHMS online community. Mm -hmm. You also have GSA Interact oh, and things absolutely. like that that are being stood up to really help provide networks, online networks, uh, collecting you to not only vendors, but collecting you to federal buyers, academia and alike to really help get those ideas, products, services off the ground. Another way for your organization to be tech forward is to have system integration partnerships. Mm -hmm. And this is partnering with different types of organizations where technology is really their focus. You have things like value-added resellers or VARs. Mm -hmm. You have OEMs, original equipment manufacturers. You have uh, CSPs, cloud service providers, which on the tech side of government contracting, you know that you have to partner with these organizations. We also have MSPs, your managed service providers as well. So the really interesting part about these system integrator partnerships is the way that VARs and these other entities alike are looked at in the federal government space. Mm. So when it comes to size standards, uh, VARs actually have a different role and a different number system that they're looked at when they're able to bid on certain types of work. So sometimes partnering with them or even adding that as a part of your portfolio and diversifying your company to include things like the VAR or the CSP or an MSP or an OEM can actually really work to your benefit when it comes to bidding on certain types of federal work. Federal product and service development is cumbersome, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's energy intensive. But by adding all of this into your service area, into your repertoire, you can actually increase your revenue and drive your bottom line. We're not just talking about IT service providers, we're talking about all the federal vendors can really uh, benefit from these types of partnerships. So by forging strategic partnerships, all contractors, not just tech vendors, can increase their value and drive their revenue. And that's why it's so important to be tech forward. Tech, tech forward, money. Tech forward. Money. Tech Move the forward, tech money. forward. Well, that's our show. Thanks so much for watching The Shred. Woo! Thank you so much to our sponsor, ICF. And this episode was all about how to be tech forward in your organization. We'll see you real soon. Bye.